Okay, first we're gonna glue our eyebrows down, take a glue stick, run it through your eyebrows a few times, then take a spoolie or lash comb and press them down. I use a spoolie, run it through, and then take my finger and press them down nice and flat. Um, just make sure that all of the hairs are nicely coated with glue and that they are lying flat. Take a hair dryer and then make sure that glue is nice and dry and you're going to want to do this process about three times but for video's sake I did not do that. I will link a video below showing a full tutorial. Powder them up. Well, clean them off first. I usually use alcohol and a cotton swab. Um, the makeup wipe is what I had around me at the time, so I used a makeup wipe. Make sure you are cleaning the glue around your eyebrows uh, just because it interacts with the different products really weirdly. So make sure you're cleaning them up and then you're going to powder them up. I'm just using a translucent powder, uh, just loosely packing that on and then lightly brushing all of the excess away so that it doesn't get muddled with the face paint we're about to use. Sketch out where you want your Smurfette to go on your face. At first, I was going to do a round nose because I was trying to combine the original cartoon version with the 3D movie version in this look. Um, and so I thought I was going to do a round nose, but turns out in the end, as you'll see, I didn't. <laughs> that ended up not working out. So I just sketched out where I wanted the eyes, the nose, her mouth, and everything in between. Now it's time to get blue. I am using a water activated face paint and a fluffy complexion brush, like a small complexion brush. And Smurfs are blue all over. They wear white clothes and they're blue. So it does take a little bit of time to get your face, arms, decolletage area all blue. Um, but it's well worth it to take your time to make sure that it's not streaky and that you're getting like a nice full coverage. You might have to do a couple layers. It just kind of depends on the quality of the face paint that you're using, if it's water activated, if it's not. Um, I am wearing a white tank top for this look because I did not really want to paint an actual like dress on me or like paint the actual clothes on me. So I just donned a white tank top um, because Smurfette wears a white tank top dress. Um, and so I thought the white tank top was going to be a good option. My tank top did get some face paint on it. It did get some blue on it. So if you are concerned about getting your clothes dirty, this might not be the best option for you. If you don't care, then go right on ahead and wear that white tank top. Not going to be bothersome. I also made sure that I went with a smaller detail brush and really went around my outline so that I could get nice and tight and nice and uh, good clean lines with that blue. Um, this is something that we will be doing again later on whenever we actually figure out the eyes and the nose and her mouth. Um, but the details are, as I've said before, very important in these character looks. Covering up those eyebrows with a white concealer stick. My eyebrows are unbelievably dark, and so if you're putting white over top of them, I have to use white concealer first, and then 
After that, I started on the nose, and as I told you in the beginning of this look, I struggled with how I wanted to actually do her nose because in the cartoon version, she has like this black line, sort of like sideways oblong nose, and in the 3D version, she has this like round nose. So I started by shading it, and then I just kind of moved on because I was like, that didn't look right. So then I moved on to the eyes, and I just filled them in with some white cream makeup um cream face paint i think i used mayron i can't remember um and i just filled in her eyes and i wanted them to be very very round again in the cartoon version her eyes are kind of more like ovally shaped in the 3d movie version they're very very round so i kind of combined the two and made her eyes on my face very very round and if you've watched my Marge Simpson video which I will link in the description box as well as make a card in this video um, I really struggle with cartoon eyeballs on myself and that's because the roundness just does not translate very well on my very like mountainous face um, the curvature of like my nose and my eye sockets and my forehead and my temples and things just does not leave to be to sculpt a very um, perfect circle easily so I just I really struggled with this <laughs> part and it does seem like it takes a long time in the video to kind of get it done um, but that's because I'm still in my learning process of how to draw cartoons on my three-dimensional face <laughs> Then cleaning up around the eyeballs, making sure that that blue hits where it needs to so that you don't see any skin parts, I guess you could say. Does that sound right? No, that doesn't sound right. Um, just make sure that none of my actual skin is peeking through and that everything looks uh, very solid colored. Then I'm going to whiten my teeth. Well, Smurfette's teeth, I should say. In the cartoon version, she didn't really have like teeth in a mouth. Well, she had like a smile, but in the 3D version, she has like teeth, a tongue, and everything is exposed. So I thought that would be kind of cool to do in this look. Then I outline everything in black, and this is where a lot of your mistakes or edges are going to kind of be hidden. And honestly, I feel like this is where the looks kind of come alive in these cartoon uh, recreations is when you start really outlining and adding all of like the little details like eyebrows and pupils and uh, um, outlines and things like that. It just kind of makes the actual look pop a little bit more. Then taking some red face paint and uh, going in to color the tongue. I probably should have mixed this up to be like a little bit darker and or added like a line. I don't know. I feel like her tongue, it doesn't look, it does, I don't know. It doesn't look realistic, but like she's a cartoon. I don't know. It just doesn't, it looks kind of odd to me. 
Then adding her eyebrows, which I did this in like two swipes and I'm really proud of myself and I did not have to fix them. Um, I don't know how I did it. I just did it. Much confidence just went in. Boop, boop. There you go. And then this is where you'll see that I struggled with her nose because at first I thought I wanted to, again, do the circular nose. Um, as you will soon find out, that did not work out. It looked kind of funny when I just drew like a big black circle. So I took that off with a makeup wipe and repainted, repowdered, and then regrouped, and then ended up doing her cartoon nose. And the first attempt at her cartoon nose was actually probably perfect, but how I was looking at it on the monitor, it didn't look particularly right because for some reason, these cartoon looks in my eyes, at least when I'm doing them, they look a lot different in person to me than they do translated over to the camera like in filming and so I took that off my first attempt at her cartoon nose off and then I did it a little bit longer which again looking back I probably should have just kept the first one that I did but such as life it's a learning process and a learning experience um, but still happy with how it turned out I really think it kind of adds to the look itself. Doing some last minute details before we add her hair, eyelashes. The original cartoon Smurfette did not have eyelashes in the picture that I have, but the 3D movie version does. I feel like the eyelashes added a little bit of femininity to the look, so I added them and I'm very happy about it. Uh, and then drawing in her pupils, again, this is also something that I just really struggle with because the pupils of a cartoon look generally match up with my own eyelids, which as if you watched my Marge Simpson video is a problem because I have like a hooded wrinkly eyelid situation. Um, so I tried to put them down a little bit further and then I made them really small at first. I made them bigger. I still think I could have made her pupils bigger. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not dissatisfied with how they came out. I think I just need more practice on cartoon eyes because I don't know how they're supposed to look on my face. Then her iconic blonde hair. Uh, shout out to one of my friends, Allie, for letting me use this wig of hers. Um, brushed it out with a pet brush, actually. They sell them at the Dollar Tree, got a clean one, not that I have any pets, but I got a clean pet brush, brushed it out, uh, brushed some bangs over, added the hat. It was pretty easy to style, it wasn't too bad. I did not have any bobby pins uh, close to myself, so I ended up just using like a two-prong clip. I tried a barrette at first, but that did not work. So then I just used like a two-prong metal clip um, I probably need to pick up some more bobby pins at the store. Um, and then added her hat and that was that. So this is the look guys, this is my Smurfette interpretation, cosplay if you will. Um, 
I can't remember where I got this hat from. I think I might have gotten it from Walmart for like a dollar or the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, really easy to find, especially in the winter and in this transitional time right now from winter to spring. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section. I will link all of the products that I used in the description box below. So if you are interested in recreating the Smurfette look and want to know what I used, you can check them out on your own time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any reviews, tutorials, unboxings, cosplays, makeup looks, all that jazz. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, let me know what you thought of this look in the comment section. I have really been enjoying these cartoon looks, these recreations. I'm going to try to do more in the future. We'll see where that takes me. Thanks, guys. See you in my next video.